My name is Elena Pavlova. I'm a clinician and a research scientist working in Cambridge. I've been fortunate to work with Benedict in the Creative Encounters project to help understand more about this rare disease, now named Mucopolysaccharidosis Plus. We've been studying children with an unknown disease first seen in babies that couldn't survive beyond early childhood. As a clinician with experience in rare diseases, I understand challenges that families face when learn from their doctors that there is no answer why their child is sick and that there is no treatment. When we started to study the new from the clinical features that this condition is similar to lysosomal disease, but we couldn't find the cause. We tested every single known lysosomal protein, but they all were normal. Then we applied exome sequencing and used bioinformatics to identify just a single nucleotide change in patient's DNA. This is like to find a needle in a haystack. The sequencing identified that all patients had the same variant in the gene called VPS33A. We connected with scientists in Cambridge Institute for Medical Research who have special interest in the Hobbes complex and solved the crystal structure of the VPS33A. Due to the genetic mutation, the patients don't have enough of the VPS33A, and so the assembly of the Hobbes complex is impaired, causing the lysosomal trafficking defect. We worked with the cells taken from these patients and examined them under the microscope to see morphology of the patient's cells. We used various tests to evaluate functions of the lysosome, and importantly, we showed that some available drugs can be repurposed for treatment of this disease. Collaborating with Benedict was great to visualize a complex biology of the disease and to spread the knowledge across. I hope for every rare disease we will be able to develop treatment and improve patient's life or if not, living without hope. Around 40 children have been found ill due to a mysterious disease of an unknown cause similar to a lysosomal disease named mucopolysaccharidosis plus. Affected babies start to develop symptoms within the first six months and are vulnerable to serious infections. As disease progresses, coarse facial features become apparent, along with joint stiffness affecting growth and motor development. Patients develop severe complications and require intensive care. Scientists in Cambridge have found the true nature of this rare disorder. It is caused by the deficiency of the VPS33A protein, core unit of the Hops complex. Hops complex, which is made up of six proteins, helps the fusion of endosomes and lysosomes. Inside normal cells, the entered cargo is delivered in vacuoles through endosomes to lysosomes for degradation. The Hops complex is vital for this process. When VPS33 is unstable, assembly of the Hops complex is weakened and this traffic is delayed, causing a traffic jam and swelling of the lysosomes. This results in a buildup of materials in the cell. The current findings show this pathological defect can be rescued in cultured cells by using available drugs. This immediately gives hope for treatment.